Broadway will have an empty set. Two receivers to the near side along with two tight ends. Solo receiver to the top. Tigers show blitz. Broadway in the gun. Has it. Drop back. Wants an out route. Picked off. It's picked off. It's at the 40. 35-30. Jace Williams on the interception. 20. He's going to get dragged down to about the 10-yard line. Tigers defense needed a big start, and they got it. It's a pick all the way down to the 10. Jace Williams on the interception. Tigers take over. Ian Nation in the gun. He's going to play action, try to get outside, puts his foot in the ground, and he's driving for the goal line. They're going to mark him short of the line to gain, and Auburn High School comes up half a yard short. Tigers get a pick. They go to the 10-yard line. They end up tripping over their own feet on the first play of the game, and they come up a yard short, and that's where Dothan will take over. Ian has it, and it's going to be an outside zone to Webb. Webb makes one guy miss, now puts his foot in the ground, running hard, and he's getting close to the goal line, and it's still driving. Is he in? He's in. He ends up in the end zone. They're going to put their arms up and call it six for Cheetah. Nine yards out the first time he touches the ball. Cheetah Webb goes the distance. The Tigers lead 6 nothing behind a nine-yard touchdown run. Peterson has it on the out on the off tackle play. He'll plunge into the end zone from a yard out for the touchdown. And it is now 7-6, to six, an 80-yard drive all on the ground for the Wolves. Heard a lot about Trey Marcus. And when I asked, hey, what about Trey Marcus? They're like, who? And they, oh, Cheetah. Yeah, well, I see why his name is Cheetah. Omar up the middle, gashes the linebackers, breaks the tackle. He's into the open field at the 20, 15, 10, 5. Give him six. From 52 yards out, the sophomore runs to Paydirt. 13-7, Tigers lead with 5.04 left to go here in the second quarter. A great job there by the Auburn High School offensive line right up the middle, and Omar out runs the linebackers and the secondary from 52 out for the touchdown. Broadway. Has it, play action, drops back, and pressure. Deuce White comes through with a sack back at the 40-yard line. Big number zero, his third sack of the, of the year, and it's a big loss on third down. Now bringing up third down, that was a big loss on second down. Loss of 10 on that one. Third down and 25 coming for the Wolves. Empty set here where there is a tight end attached right at the middle. Auburn points him out. Broadway in the gun. Has it, drops back. Tigers bring some pressure, wanting the go ball to the outside. And there's going to be a pass interference as Pete Davis trips however it's not a first down it is third down and 10 coming up after the penalty that was just a drop back throw a go ball it's going to be a 15 yard penalty but it will be third down and 10 not an automatic first down what that does do though is creates a get half and get half here for an offense who very much likes a a uh a, a you know, need to get five as opposed to need to get 25. Third down and 10 coming. Empty set once again. Tigers had a little bit of pressure, but then Jalen Davis just slipped and tackled the receiver on the outside. Broadway in the gun. Claps of hands, drops back. Tigers bring five. Deuce White, sack once again. It might have been a, it might have been a quarterback draw, but it's going to be a loss of about five on the play. Deuce White once again breaks through. Under a minute left to go here in the third quarter. 45 seconds and counting. Broadway in the gun in an empty set. Got to rely on the down four to get your pressure. Tigers and off coverage across the board. Five on the line of scrimmage. Broadway has it, drops back. Auburn brings a stunt. They got pressure again. Deuce White comes free, and they got him down. Back to the 40-yard line, a loss of 10, and the Tigers will take over first and 10 at their own 40-yard line. Burns in the gun. He's got his Peterson handoff to Alexander up the middle into the end zone. 
touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run makes it 14 to 13. Dothan showing that they're going to go for two in a water bucket look right here. Their kicker is on the field. 17 seconds left to go. I have no idea how many timeouts either team has. Dothan will kick for they'll go for the field goal right now. That ball will be marked at the 28-yard line. This is a 38-yard field goal ball at the right hash. 17 seconds left to go here in the game. A 38-yard field goal for Dothan right here for the lead with 17 seconds left. The snap, the kick is on its way. It's going to be blocked. It's no good. It's no good. The Tigers get a hand on it with 13 seconds left. The Tigers have life. Nation will have it. We'll drop back. He's throwing it, looking for a go ball, looking for his receiver. A lot of contact. There's a flag with two seconds left. There's a flag with two seconds left. The problem is it's 15 yards from the 31-yard line. It's going to put it at the 46-yard line with 30 with with two seconds left. That's not going to be enough. If Auburn would have caught that ball and been able to call a timeout, then yes, Auburn probably was in. They were definitely in range for a field goal, but. That's not going to be deep enough for Auburn, but maybe you can throw another deep ball and for Webb and see what happens. Towns has a big leg. He doesn't have this big of a leg. Crawford claps it, has it, and drops back, steps up. Throws it for Nation. Incomplete. And that'll do it. We'll go to overtime here in Dothan, Alabama. 14-14 our score. Tigers and Wolves played for four quarters and decided nothing. We got more football, free football coming your way. Tigers scored first to take a seven nothing lead. Dothan tied it. Auburn then scored before half to make it 14-7. And then Dothan tied it up in the fourth quarter. Dothan had a field goal opportunity at the end uh, with uh, with 17 seconds left. They, couldn't, they didn't want to risk getting closer because they didn't have any more timeouts. And that field goal got tipped. Peterson has it. He was trying to get to the left. Looking for some help. Cuts it upfield. He has the touchdown. Tigers overrun it. The pursuit doesn't get there from the inside. And Peterson puts his foot in the ground and scores. Mapson next to Allen. Allen lowers his head. Is he in? Yes, he is. Touchdown. What's the call? Is it two or no? Is it is it is it kick or go? That's the question here. Is it kick or go? It's kick. Kick's on his way. Kick is up, and that kick is good. Trying to go outside, and Cheetah breaks a tackle into the end zone for the touchdown. Now you go for one if you're Auburn, and you, you look at your defense and say, hey, buddy, give me a stop. Cheetah from seven out for the touchdown. He has 29 yards and two touchdowns now. Kick is up, and that kick is good. 28-21 defense with an opportunity to get a stop. And Auburn can sprint out of Dothan with a win. Peterson, inside give to Alexander. Alexander into the end zone. Again, the counter look for the touchdown. And here comes a two-point conversion. We all, I think everybody in the stadium had an idea this is what it was going to come down to. Here it is. Two-point for the ball game. You get a stop, you run home with a win. You can't, it's a two and a two plus hour bus drive with an 0-2 filling in your stomach. Broadway in the gun for Dothan. And now Dothan will switch the formation, something we haven't seen them do all year, or all night rather. First time, saved it for the two pointer. Peterson will have it and he'll He'll fake it, and he'll run it, and he stopped. It's no good. It's no good. Tigers win. Tigers win. Tigers win. They tried the inside handoff once again going off the right tackle. The Tigers were able to sniff it out, and the Auburn Tigers get the goal line stand. They return the favor, and Auburn walks it off with a 28-27 victory on the road at Dothan. Holy cow.